create the power pivot with data drawn in from a standard Excel sheet. Once the data has been drawn in, then we can use the query, power query and power pivot tools in order to make sure that we are correctly manipulating the data. Firstly, to install Power Pivot, one needs to go to File Options, and that will enable one to install the add-in. Add-ins are over here, and as far as I'm aware, the Power Pivot is not in Excel add-ins, the Power Pivot is in fact in Com add-ins. So let's go there, add-ins over here, com add-ins over here, and if I click go, then you will see power pivot and power map are there. I'm going to cancel out of that. Now I'm going to import the data from an Excel workbook file, and the scenario is the sale, the sale of bikes in South Africa, by bikes I mean cycling, touring bikes, road bikes, etc. Bike sales, SA1. So I'm importing the data. It's going to invoke the Power Query tool, which is then going to enable me to make some critical choices. I can even transform data while I'm about it. I'm just going to go to the data table. The rest have already been formulated, the pivot tables and so forth. And you'll see here the units sold. I don't like the name of that um, field over there, so I'm going to change that to revenue. I'm also, there's also a date sold over there, and that I use for the Power BI tool when we create a calendar table, but we won't be doing that right now. What we'll be doing now is we'll be creating this and um, relating it. Just remember, there's also, you'll see here, Salesperson's name is there, which isn't really necessary. I'm actually going to delete it. We've got salesperson ID there, and over here we have salesperson where the ID will relate to the name. Okay, so let's go back to data. Let's transform some of the data through the Power Query option. Okay, so here we're coming to transform the data. Remember, I wanted to change the name of a particular field, so we're going to call it Revenue. Okay, that's very simple. We'll just go to units over here, double click over there and call it revenue. All right, that's the income. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column which will then perform a multiplication in order to generate a VAT amount as well. So it's this with the VAT amount times 1,15 and that would then create a VAT amount. Call a multiplication inclusive of VAT or VAT inclusive. All right, and I can in fact pull that column across so that it is just next to revenue. There we go. All right, I'm also going to be doing some rounding here, so let's round this off not to add a column now. I want to transform the column, so let's round this off to two de decimal places, two decimal places. Likewise, VAT inclusive rounded off to two decimal places. Notice the slight difference there. In the first instance, I added a column which added the VAT inclusive. In this instance, I transformed a column which kept the original column. All right. Um, I can change that to currency. All right. And this one to currency as well. Good. So they've been changed to currency. All right, I'm going to get rid of the salesperson's name, remove that column as well. Okay, so I'm performing a number of adjustments to this particular table. All right, I'm in fact going to remove the province column as well. You'll see why. All right, in due course. So the type of bike sold through a particular channel, generating so much revenue, VAT inclusive by such and such a salesperson on such and such a date. All right. right, now what we do is we import this, but remember close and load 2 is important because what happens here is it is connected with the other table. That's important. All right, I'm going to put it into this worksheet. 
right. So this would be the sales. Right, so I've got two tables here, salesperson and sales, and I'm now going to go to Power Pivot and to create a relationship between these two tables. Notice over there, that's called a data two, not to worry about that. That's because of a slight interruption I had. I'm actually going to create this little measure here. So I'm going to use the sum function that generates a DAX function, just adds up all the VAT inclusive revenue. That's all, that's all it does. Don't have to do this, but it'll help later when it comes to KPIs. All of which is done separately, by the way, in Power BI, but we are currently working with Power Pivot. Now I'm going to go through to Diagram View. I'm going to generate a relationship between my sales data. See, there's my measure that's been added. And my ID. And all I need to do is drag ID from that field onto that field and creates a one-to-many relationship with an outer join. So you'll see one salesperson makes many sales. That, you see it's highlighted them. It's slightly different in Power BI. All right, so I go back to my data view over here. That's excellent. So we've uh, created our uh, relationship. Okay. And what we're about to do now is to get back into Excel and to start creating a pivot table. We can generate that straight from here. In fact, why don't we do that? Let's generate the pivot table straight from here. It will generate it back in Excel. There we go. New worksheet. And the beauty of this is that they are now relationships. Look at these fields. The fields with the barrels. There. Barrel. See? That indicates the relationship. So, for example, if I were to go to salesperson and draw in the salesperson's name underneath rows here. No, let's go columns. So they're the salespeople. All right. And I would then to draw in their prov their office, which would be really their province over here. Okay, there's the province over there. Okay, then I could go to the original table. That's data two in this case. And I can pull in the VAT inclusive revenue here underneath values. There we go. And there are the sales. All right. Let's uh, just for the sake of uh, keeping it small, let's pull columns out and let's just leave it like that. Okay. All right. So you will see very similar numbers. Okay. Over there. Now I'm going to show you in the next video how to generate a map from this. Okay, generate a map from this.